Hey everybody, Hunter back again from Showtime Studios. Uh, we are going to do a kit review. And what we will be reviewing is a very expensive kit, uh, all resin, uh, full detail kit. And this was something that I seen, uh, I guess it was a few months ago. And I thought about ordering one. And the more I thought about it, the more I was like, no, I'm, I'm just not sure of the quality of it. And I'd heard good things about the company, but uh, for the price that they wanted for this little box, um, as you can see, it's sitting here in front of you. Uh, this is $150 in this box. And it was $130 for the, um, or actually $120 for the actual kit, and then $30 for the shipping uh, directly from, um, I think it was Japan. It was either Japan or China, something like that. Um, but I was hesitant on it and I did not order it. And when the Richmond show came around, uh, February of this year, I had a good friend of mine, uh, Mr. Willie Taylor, uh, ordered one of these and already had it in and he brought it to the show so I could look it over. And once I got home from the show and, you know, when I opened the box up at the show, I was stunned by the uh, quality of it. And when I got home, I went ahead and placed an order and I got this thing in yesterday and it's uh it's pretty impressive and what we're talking about so you don't have to look at this cardboard box anymore is the bugatti vision gran turismo 124 scale full detail kit and it is from alpha models and you can find these um, online. Actually, if you're on Facebook, uh, you can also find this. There is a page on Facebook uh, for anybody that builds this type of product or um, the, any of the alpha model uh, builds. Uh, you can put it on there. You can update your progress and stuff like that. So um, check it out. It's definitely a, a pretty cool site. There's some amazing work that's being put up. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. I've already looked in it uh, just to make sure all the parts were good. They were. Uh, it come in a much bigger box, had foam padding all around it. Uh, it made it in one piece uh, intact. Everything looks good. So we're going to crack this thing open and I'll show you what all we have inside. And like I say, this is a full resin kit. Uh, we'll bring, you know, each thing over here to the side. We'll lay it out and then we'll go through um, the individual parts. Uh, you have a bag of screws because this actually screws together from the bottom. Um, which on this car, it's no big deal. And I'll show you why once we go through some more of the uh, parts and pieces that we have. Uh, we have a bag of resin parts here. Uh, we also have the... Uh, vacuum formed uh, glass for this kit. Uh, we have the rear wing assembly, uh, which is just phenomenal detail. Um, the thin, when I show you the thinness on these parts, you, you will be surprised uh, if you're familiar with uh, resin stuff. Uh, we also have the wheels and tires. Uh, let's see, we have another bag of resin parts, uh, another resin part in this bag. And then we move on down to the big heavy chunk that's in here. And this was the one thing that I was really worried about um, as far as the quality of it. And then once I actually got to see it, I was not worried about the quality anymore. Um, it's definitely uh, top notch. But uh, that's the body assembly here. And like I said, we're just going to take everything out of here right now. And then we'll go through you know each thing that we have. Uh, we have the instructions here. And those are kind of uh, different. I've never seen instructions like that before. And in this pack here, we have the uh, photo etched uh, sticky back transfers, uh, which are, don't know, yeah, there they are, um, for the uh, Bugatti emblems. We also have the decals in there. And then I think there is three, I'm pretty sure there's three frets of uh, photo etch. Actually, there's more than that. And we'll open that all up, uh, but we'll get to that in a minute. So we have the photo etch in there, and we also have, I'm uh, not sure what this piece is. I'll have to do a little bit of uh, checking through the instructions, uh, but you also get this real fine piece of uh, wire here and two little, uh, looks like little bolts or something uh, in that pack. So that's what all comes in the kit. And what we'll do is just go ahead and go down through the, um, the main components here. And then we'll open everything up. 
Uh, first up, we have the body. And if I remember right, when Willie brought me his, this was uh, these assemblies are pretty tight and they're slipped together. This is the interior bucket. Now, I did a little bit of research on this car uh, before I actually ordered the kit. Um, or back when I was thinking about it, I did some research on the one-to-one -one car. Uh, this is actually a one-off car. It is a prototype car. There's only one in the world, and it is a race car. It was designed by the gentleman that is president of the Gran Turismo uh, game uh, setup. I've never played that. I don't play video games, but um, that's who actually uh, came up with the idea for the car. And like I say, it is a race car. It's a single seat car. Um, there's no frills in this thing. Actually, the windows don't even roll up and down in this car. Uh, they actually have a slot in them that you slide open. Uh, but this is the interior tub, a nice heavy piece of uh, resin, uh, very fine detail. You can see some cabling and stuff down here on the floor. That's pretty cool. Um, so that's the interior piece. And like I say, this is the, uh, the pan that's underneath of the Bugattis. And of course, when you put that piece and this piece together, uh, the rear diffuser, uh, they are very, um, very flat. So do, you know, putting it together with the screws underneath is no big deal because, uh, these cars are all flat underneath anyway. So you're not losing any detail there. Uh, but this is the rear diffuser panel and you can just see the intricate, uh, work that has been done to create this in resin. I mean, it is just, it's phenomenal. The, uh, the uh, attention to detail that was paid to um, each one of these parts. And then you have the actual body itself and it's, uh, it's very nice. Uh, there's a couple pin holes here and there. It's not very much uh, back here in the back. You can see how thin the trailing edge of the car is you can almost see through the resin it is so thin back there uh, this car has the hatch detail on the roof of it uh, that is to get the driver's helmet off in the case of a crash uh, because the the height of this car is just so low um, they open up this hatch and they can pull the driver's helmet off through that and like i say it's just the the quality of it is just amazing um, it is a very thick, uh, heavy casting uh, where it needs to be. Everywhere else, it's very thin. Um, it, it's just, I can't say enough good things about it. It's just an amazing piece. Hopefully, all the parts fit together very well. Uh, we shall see when we get to building this thing one of these days. But that's the body assembly. And like I say, next, we'll just, we'll go through all the parts and just show you, um, for anybody that's interested in a Bugatti kit, uh, what you get from Alpha Models. And this is the vacuum formed glass. And you can see how crystal clear. I mean, it's just beautiful, the glass uh, in this particular kit. Now, they don't show the um, sliding detail here. Um, I think somewhere in here there is detail that adds that uh, into it. We'll see when we get there. Uh, I see a little bit of um, shape issue. It looks like it was a little bit overheated. Uh, right here at the top of the windshield, but we'll have to see how that fits in the car and if that part might be hidden. But as far as the clarity of the glass, it looks real good. Now you have to go in and cut this out individually, um, you know, and then apply it to the model. This is not, this type of kit is not for a beginner. Uh, there is a lot of um, experience that you need to uh, really go in and, and do justice to one of these um, full resin kits. Uh, they are a lot of work. They take a lot of patience. And uh, when you're done, it's a very nice kit but they are expensive and you have to have a fair amount of modeling experience before I would recommend you trying to do one of these kits. Um, but that's the glass. So I'm going to go ahead and put everything back in the packs as we go along here, because I won't be starting this anytime soon. Uh, let's see. Next up, we'll go on to the uh, wheels and tires. And these are also a one-off deal. Uh, the tires for the real car, I'm under the, understanding that there's only two sets in the world uh the set that is on the car itself and then the bugatti factory has the other set and they are michelin slicks is what's on this car and we'll hold it up here and let you get a shot of the um resin wheel there we go a little bit of flash on it not nothing major very easy to clean that up 
uh, but the wheels look pretty decent. Uh, these are actually two-toned wheels on the real car, so that would be a bear to paint. Uh, so I'm going to have to figure out which way I'm going to go with that. But um, like I say, the casting and everything is very nice. These use just the main center nut, uh, like an F1 car. Um, a lot of your supercars use that. They don't use individual studs and, and nuts. They use the big center nut. And pretty neat. It mounts uh, kind of like a Tamiya or a Fujimi or something like that, uh, the mounting pegs on it. So the wheels and tires all look pretty decent. So I'll put them back in there and seal them up. And put that over here. And of course, like I say, you got the uh, bag of screws that holds the um, everything up into the body. We're not going to take them out. You don't need to see a bag of screws. Uh, let's see. What do we have behind door number two here? This is actually a piece that is wrapped up in a piece of tissue paper. Oh, okay. This is the front splitter. And like I say, this is in resin also, and you can see just how thin that resin is. I mean, it's just phenomenal that they got it that thin, and it I don't see any warps or anything in it. It just it's it's just amazing. I'm very surprised with the uh with how thin they got things and the amount of detail that they were able to put into it. So uh that's the front uh diffuser panel or the front splitter, I guess you could say. And looking at the one-to-one uh, -one car, I uh, watched a YouTube video on it. That front diffuser panel, um, when it is sitting at what they call the um, track mode, uh, as far as the ride height, the on the one-to-one -one car, the suspension is adjustable. Uh, you can do it by remote control. And when you have it in the track mode, this spoiler is an inch and a half off of the ground. So it pretty much lays on the ground. Uh, let's see. Next up, we'll move on to, um, this bag here. Now there's a lot of little individual parts in here and I'm not going to take them all out. Uh, I see a couple interior parts in here, the brake rotors. Uh, they also give you the calipers, uh, which are separate, uh, in different sizes for the front and rear. Um, this is the, uh, aerodynamic piece that goes over the wing adjusted adjustment. It has an active wing on it. Uh, which, you know, will pitch up during braking, uh, it lays flatter during, you know, acceleration and top end speeds. Uh, what else do we have in there? It looks like the steering columns in there and a few other, the engine covers in there. You don't see much of the engine in a Bugatti. Uh, that is the W16 that's in this, uh, quad turbo. Uh, but the only thing that you see of the engine is this section right here. And there's not very much visible. And just to show you on the body, what you'll actually see of the engine, even on the real car, is this little section right here. That's all you see. Uh, I was watching another video on it that behind this um, little round spot right here on the body is where the uh, oil dipstick is. And to put coolant in this car, uh, to top off the coolant tank, you actually have to take the rear body work off of the car. And the other thing I thought was uh, pretty impressive was uh, when this goes in for its first oil change, uh, on the one-to-one -one car, it's about $20,000, and they don't just do an oil change. Uh, they actually pull the engine out of the car, and they pull the heads off of it. They go through it. They look at everything. Uh, of course, change the oil in it, put everything back together, and it runs you about $20,000 for the service. So um, it's uh, it's quite of an expensive car, but uh, like I say, there's some people that's complained about not having engine detail. Um that's all you see anyway. So, you know, I'm happy with it. So we have that bag of parts. Uh, let's see. Next up, we have some of the suspension components. Uh, we have the little halo that goes up front, uh, the signature Bugatti for the front grill, and some odds and ends in here. Uh, everything looks to be real nice. Uh, the exhaust tips are in here. Um, some of this stuff, I have no idea what it is until I get the instructions out and start going through it. But, uh, you know, not a lot of flash on anything and just um, just very well uh, put together. And next up, we have the wing and the side panels for the wing, uh, which are just micro thin. I mean, I can literally see light through this resin. That's how thin these parts are and just amazing detail, just beautiful work. So hats off to these guys that actually engineered this kit. Uh, the parts are just amazing. 
And next up, uh, like I say, we do have this little metal rod here with two little fittings. I'm um, not exactly sure what that is. We'll find out later on um, when we get to put it together in the instructions. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and pull out the uh, decal package here, which is not a lot. But it is a pretty decent little decal package. And everything that I see on here is pretty much on the one-to-one uh, -one car. And I'm looking to see if the French flag is on here. Um, I do not see it. I know back on the um, side spats on the spoiler, they actually have the uh, French colors uh, for the French flag on there. So if they don't have it on the decal sheet, that'll be something I'll be adding uh, into the model when we build it. So that's the decals. And then everything else in here, I think, is uh, photo etch. And like I say, this is a full detail kit, so when it's all done, it's going to be, um, it'll be a pretty impressive kit. And that one doesn't want to come out very easy, so we're not even going to pull that. They actually give you a um, 124 scale Bugatti uh, plate uh, for the front of your display board. And we have some rotor pieces there, and not sure what some of that other stuff is, just little bits and pieces. And then we also have... Uh, Rotor detail here, the front grille, the pedal assemblies, uh, the windshield wiper, all of your uh, screens that are actually opened up. Uh, the window piece I was talking about where the uh, driver's side glass just slides, that's this piece right here. Um, because the windows do not roll up and down in this thing. Uh, here we have some of the uh, trim that goes around the windows, around the windshield and the side glass. That's in photo etch, a very, very thin photo etch. And here we have a little bit more um, photo etch. And I'm not exactly sure what a lot of this is. Like I say, we'll figure it out when we get there. And then they have a set of uh, racing harnesses in here uh, for the driver's seat, which is the only seat in the car. And next up, we have uh, more of the harnesses. And this is how in-depth they got with the um, harness assembly. Uh, you can see all the bits and pieces on there for the harness. So that's pretty cool. And next up, we have um, a whole bunch of stuff that I have no idea what it is. But it's a whole bunch of little photo etch parts that I guess they will tell me what they are when we get to the... Um, putting it together. There it is. Trying to get the camera to focus. Some more little photo etch parts. So that's what we have as far as the photo etch uh, for the Bugatti kit. And I'm going to stick that back in the pack here. There we go. We'll set that over to the side. And now for the last thing in the kit is the instructions. And like I say, these are, um, I've never seen instructions like this before. They're individual pieces of paper. And they kind of look like a CAD drawing is what they look like. They give you a parts layout of your photo etch um, and your decals over here. And they're blank on the back side. And it shows the wheel and tire attachment and how everything goes into place. Uh, very simplified as far as the instructions. Uh, it does show you where you need to drill holes and things like that. And they're not stapled together. They're just individual um, instruction sheets. Uh, this one here shows the interior going together, and then, of course, the seat belts and things like that, the dash assembly, uh, the sliding window that I was talking about on the driver's side, and some more um, how to do the photo etch wiper and things like that, and also uh, the attachment points and stuff for the rear wing. That's all in here. And they also give you a one-to-one -one picture of the actual seat that's in this car, so you can use it for uh, reference. And then the overall assembly of the kit, the body, the windows, the grill, um, hanging the wheels and tires and stuff like that. This is just kind of a blow up, uh, expanded view of um, everything. And then they give you the actual car. Uh, this is the actual car, the only one produced. Uh, they give you a steering column, a steering wheel, front dash assembly uh, picture. Uh, the steering or the uh, driver's seat again with the door panels and some of the console um, detail and also a front view showing everything on the front, a uh, rear view showing the exhaust and everything, and then the side view and then a top view. 
So that's pretty cool that they give you all those um, different things. Now on the one-to-one -one car, I know the doors uh, also pin on. They have quick release in the doors uh, because this is flat out pretty much a race car. That's all it is. And then the last uh, sheet that we have in the instructions is just an overview of um, the panel lines and things like that on the car and what you uh, want the model to uh, look like. If you want to go in and add some of these lines to it, you can. And uh, But other than that, that pretty much wraps up uh, everything that is involved in the Alpha Models Bugatti Vision Gran Turismo uh, full detail kit in 124th scale. And just to show everybody the um, box art again, this is what the box art looks like. There we go. And I'm, you know, anxious to get to building this. Uh, like I say, it's a very expensive kit, so uh, hopefully we'll have good luck with it. And if you have any questions or whatever on where you can get this or you need to know anything else about the model, uh, shoot me a PM or leave me a uh, comment on this video. I'll be more than glad to give you some more information on it. So that's all we've got for this one. Like always, this is Hunter from Showtime Studios, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.